I usually lay the whole row and leave the H block out and then set it after because it tends to hold the string up. So I like it to just run freely past it and then put it in after that row's done. So I'm always a row behind on my H's. One really nice thing about wet setting is all of your steel lands right in the in the center of your cells. You don't have to ever pound rebar. When you're laying block on top of a footing, a lot of times what happens is they get one rebar off and then they do layout off that one that's off. So all of them are off, so you gotta pound every one of them over. All kinds of fun. Okay, these blocks have this groove in the middle right here for splitting these in half. So you chop it on the side. You chop right here, and it just ruins them. So if you turn it on its side, and then just follow that line, tap a few times across the middle, flip it over. Breaks in half, and you got your half. When you're stocking your block, it's best to put all of your your tongues in the same direction so you got all these pointing that way that way when you take it to the wall you're in the same position every time also keep it that way across the whole across the whole wall because if you if you switch in the middle like a, at a column then when you chop your half blocks in half then you'll have a tongue and a groove opposites so you'll have to cut twice as many and then you'll have a bunch of extra half blocks one thing that can help if you're if you're not grouting your wall solid so you're trying to not put this bond over that rebar cell because if you do set it on there and it runs sideways but if you have a bad habit of putting a bond there you can put some mortar on both sides of each rebar like that and it'll help it slow it down from traveling horizontally when you don't want it to same thing right here on a corner you don't ever want to lay a bond block in here up against the corner because if you do you lay one here that grout will run down and fill that gap unless you've been filling it as you go it will hydraulic that corner right off the wall it has enough pressure even though it's dry it'll still push it off figure out these 45s is you have to as you hold your tape use the block and your measuring tape as a straight edge so you so you put your measuring tape tight against there against the block along there and you slide it down hold it your 3 8 back from this block you hold it 3 8 back from there and then two right here so you'd have eight basically eight and a half and then you do the same thing on this side on the short side you just hold it to the edge of there because you got to measure off the other side of your tape measure so you, this side would be two and five eighths on that, on that one and you just cut your block that way
drought goes down this one on an H block, it isn't gonna push like it will on a corner. got broken so we're going to show you how to make up for it we had a couple of extra a blocks so what we did is just notched it right here leave a little bit of this in place so that it so it won't blow apart when you grout it so we'll show you how we marked that out okay so down here got an inch and seven eighths so up here we just marked it at an inch and seven eighths and then we'll just cut about halfway through right here that way our block can slide in there but at the same time it'll leave enough meat on there to hold this from blowing out if you had to do your whole column like that it might be kind of scary but we just have the top few rows
build us a little ramp right here to get our skid steer across the wall. We'll just have to dig that dirt out. Now this wall is ready to pour.